<gasps> oh, oh, it's a fun scared, scared the holy oh. bejeebers out of us. <laughs> Just a little baby. Oh, that really made me jump. Oh. Oh. You better not disrupt. No, so that's a little fawn. There's always a lot of deer around yeah, here. Let's not disrupt no, and leave those fawns alone. People will start pressuring them and try and get close to them and talking to them. And then what happens is the, the, the mother ends up abandoning the yeah. fawn. So you see a fawn, leave it alone, turn around, go the other way. I was actually just reading an article up on the Gunflint Trail about yeah. tourists who were That's essentially cool. harassing a fawn to get yeah. pictures and selfies and then it ended up getting abandoned. So it's ridiculous. I saw that article. That's terrible. Yeah, so leave them alone. just north of the Brainerd Lakes area um, on Gull Lake. Behind me, right back there, is actually Upper Gull over by Zorbus. Uh, so we're gonna go check out some burial mounds here and if this is the if this is the type of content that you like to see on your bottom right there, hit subscribe. Um, we're always in the woods checking out interesting, cool, different things. Um, so we're trying to post a video about once a week of different things that we find. We head anywhere from central Minnesota all the way up to the North Shore and the Gunflin Trail. Um, so yeah, we're going to check out these. I think there's three different burial mounds here. Um, leave them alone. You don't be bringing a pick and shovel. These aren't these aren't the kind of things you want to be excavating. Um, they're essentially cemeteries for Native Americans, is is what it is. So it's got to be a level of respect here as you're as you're checking them out. So let's see what we can find. Cause I gotta walk this way. Yeah. Yeah. There's the trail. It's blocked off. Walk around. Yep. Really not much of a trail at all. No, it's sort of been neglected. It's more of a pick your way through. Yeah. Ooh, I can just see the bugs. I know. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are coming up to the first set of burial, Indian burial mounds or Native American burial mounds. There was a storm that came back here a few years ago, so see all these trees are oh, down. Oh, there's a sticker marker right there. Yeah, so I am actually looking at a burial mound right now. Um, this is a really long one. It almost almost looks like a, a double humped type of burial mound. And these were excava uh, excavated back in 1969 by the University of Minnesota. Um, there are a couple of signs too, and, and this is really a secluded area for the most part. Um, but somebody at some point in time put in some some effort here to to put some signage up um, to actually let you know what these are. So it looks like the uh, the woodland period ended with the introduction of the corn farming around 900 AD, but the custom of burial mounds persist until the arrival of the Europeans. So there's a couple of these signs around. Um, not sure what to think of them. I don't think we've, I've ever seen a person back in here, so it's kind of a cool hike. Um, I think I've seen a deer or five every time um, I've ever been back in here. So we're gonna keep poking around. There were a couple um, signs that had some information on it. Yeah. But I don't remember where they were. Well, I think if you go up to where there's that wooden post up there and then take a left up there, there oh. I can see a burial mound from here. Oh, here's one with some information. What is that for? Well, I... I I think there was something here at one point that said something about putting animal skulls in there and having the bugs eat the flesh off so that you could have the skull. Boy, this is really grown up. Yeah, so here's another burial mound. Again, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's a long one. Here's some information. So I always thought it'd be kind of interesting on these stumps, these big blowovers that you see here. So it makes you wonder, I mean, a tree like this has probably been here a hundred years. Yeah, this looks like an What's old tree. What's underneath of it? Maybe there's arrowheads down in here. Or, yeah. Or who knows what, maybe garbage from the tribe that, that lived here at the time. So I always thought that'd be a curious thing to explore. Yeah, see this looks like a burial mound here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it is. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. And I really do think by looking at these stumps, you know what I mean? Because I mean, yeah. a tree like this is probably 80 years old, oh, I would bet. Sure. I mean, when these stumps tip over, I'm sure there's stuff in there. you would think there was, you know, a potential Why historical. Don't you go in there, Dion, and get some no. <laughs> So it actually is illegal to excavate any of these burial mounds, obviously. So I just want to leave them alone. And I'm actually getting hot. I know it is kind of muggy. Muggy and buggy. Muggy and buggy for sure. What's a that? A big giant big mushroom. Big mushroom. Bonus find. Oh, I can just see the, all the bugs. <laughs> bugs. Yeah, it's a buggy time of year. I'm gonna have to look for wood ticks too. These burial mounds are from um, in be somewhere between like, I think it was 400 BC and 900 AD is about the time period um, for these mounds, which is essentially what, about two, maybe 2,000, maybe 3,000 years ago. Um, so yeah, a lot of generations have passed since. Um, so where I'm standing here too is actually a point where a big peninsula that goes out on the Gull Lake. Um, so it was thought that that maybe uh, this would be a summer area um, for this particular woodland tribe of Native Americans. Um, so they'd come here just like we do. I mean, this is a vacation des vacation destination um, in the Brainerd Lakes area for sure. So, it's, you know, it's, we have tons of, of people that come here on vacation. Gull Lake is full of boaters. Um, same thing two, 3,000 years ago, the Native Americans would come out to this peninsula. It's gorgeous. Um, they would also say it was it was an area to summer um, and and dodge uh, potential wildfires because this whole area is surrounded by lakes. Um, so it's a ceremonial ceremonial area. It's a place that's been um, actually excavated um, by the University of Minnesota back in 1969. So um, it's it's a familiar area. There's a little bit of information online about this area, but not a lot. Um, but in Indian burial mounds in general, or, or Native American burial mounds in general, um, are all over the country, and it's, it's against the law. It's a felony to go digging into these. Um, certainly disrespectful, at the very least, to do something like that. Um, but they're they're around. Um, we had no idea of, you know, I've been in the woods my whole life up here in, in the Brainerd Lakes area. I had no idea these were here until just a couple of years ago. Um, so they are everywhere. Um, keep an eye out. Also, the um, there used to be a lot more, they figure, but with, with um, people encroaching into the woodland areas here, a lot of these burial mounds they suspect were, were maybe bulldozed over or, or tilled over by farmers. Um, so they're, they're definitely around. 